Hi guys and welcome to this short episode of Now Dive TV. In this episode I'd like to talk to you about a John line. What it is, how you can make one and how to use it. A John line is basically a device or a piece of string or, or a line that you can attach to your scooter ring on your Digo stops during an ascent. Um, if there's a current you'll be hanging on that ascent line and holding on. And usually you're not alone, you're more people at the same spot and you're kind of fighting for that space and you know, hugging shoulders and it's usually not so comfortable, especially when you're on a six meter stop and you're gonna spend quite a while there. So that's where a John line comes into play and actually helps a lot with staying relaxed on the longer deco stops. I have these in my pocket, like a fixed, fixed to a double ender. And what it basically is, it is a, in this case, a piece of like relatively thin webbing. I think this is about two and a half centimeters wide. And on one end, there is a loop. There's a little bungee with a little uh, end sticking up so you can grab it. And on the other end is a single ender. Um, a single ender from a deco stage kit or something like that. Something that has like a reasonably big eye. I'll come to that in a minute why that's necessary. The length of this is about a meter and a half. It's something like that you want. You want not to distance yourself too far from the anchor line uh, in case something happens. Um, but you also want to be you know, enough away so you're not laying with your face in the line due to the shortness of this one. So about a meter and a half is, is, is a good length. Um, so how do you go about building ones? Well, let me show you in a little more detail. Now, to build one, like I said, you need a double ender, you need a bungee, this is about four millimeter bungee, give yourself half a meter or something and you can make this knot nice and tight and leave the end sticking out like that. You need about a meter and a half, give yourself by a two meter piece of two and a half centimeter wide webbing and you need a reasonably large single ender. Then what you want to do is you want to attach that webbing sewn in via um, a sewing machine or whatever, but do it by hand or whatever you do. In this case, my mother-in-law made this for me many years ago. And then on the other end, you want to build that loop. The tricky part comes when you want to sew this together because you have to leave, like, don't make it flat so it twists once over. So it goes this way, twists once over, as you can see here, and then attaches. That way it's always easier to get your finger in to open it up. As for the length, the fine tuning of the length, here's a little tip. You, when this is connected, you start winding it up. Yep. And then when you get almost to the end, you'd want to make sure that you end up with the loop being just above that little catch of the single ender. Because that way you can just about you know, squeeze that bungee over it and it'll still be nice and tight and it won't fall off and this is keeping it all nice and tight together so put your thumb there when you have that big loop not ready yet put your thumb there then you measure out how far that other piece you haven't sewn in sticks out you put that together to whatever you know length loop you want sew it in and cut off the rest and then you'll end up with this the reason why we use a little bit bigger single ender than one of the single enders we use on the light or on our long hose is that it sticks out a little bit on either side which gives you a little bit of place to put that um, double ender so you can stow everything neatly away in your pocket so how do you use one of these john lines well you come to your stop you just wrap it around stick that double ender or sorry that single ender in between and then you have connected so this makes a loop like this, 
over the anchor line and then you can just pull on this one to loosen it up move it up on the on the anchor line and then just let go and it tightens it up again and this constricts on the anchor line and making sure it not, doesn't slide up so have fun building one of these have fun using them it certainly helped me out on a lot of times again guys remember share and like this video uh, subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't already uh, leave a comment down below how you make your john lines because you can do in various different uh, iterations you can even buy them commercially i just find this is a nice way for me it works leave a comment down how you uh, tackle that problem of you know not getting a tired arm on a deco stop <laughs>